Hi, I'm Jill Sokup. I'm a full-time painter of scenes from Western Ranch Life. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about composition and walk you through the preliminary steps of a painting I did last year titled Adolescence Itch. The original photograph and source of inspiration for this painting was taken from Chico Basin Ranch in 2018, a ranch where I periodically host artist workshops. So here's the original photo and there's quite a bit going on here, but what I was most interested in was this guy right here. So here I've got the original photo with three cropped versions. My first instinct was to include as much of the leg and the neck of the horse as possible, but I wanted to see what would happen if I cropped it in. And still, the expression of the pose was not lost. In fact, I felt that it had been reinforced. So I took it one step further into a square format and still the expression of the gesture was not lost. But at this point I was conflicted. I didn't know if the rectangular format or the square format would work better. As soon as I started blocking in the sketch, I instantly recognized that there was a square theme being developed. So you have the format of the canvas or picture, which is square. But then there was a secondary square within that first square that I found really intriguing. The other thing that I noticed was there was a triangular theme happening just by nature of having a rotated square inside the square. I wanted to skip ahead to where I had completed two sketches because it addresses my second most important decision for this composition. I wanted to figure out how much of the background from the photo was necessary to communicate that idea of squares and triangles. So I recognize there are many triangles and squares just naturally with the fence behind it. There's a square there, a bigger, broader square here, this post, and many triangles, one here, um, negative space between the post and the neck. Um, a little triangle here. So it's repeated everywhere within the photo reference. So I, initially I thought that that was a good direction and I completed this sketch here. Here the horse was a little bit um, less of the focal point and here it really emphasized that square within a square idea. And then after I had completed that portion of it, um, before I put the grass in, it felt like it needed just a little bit more. So even by indicating a little line here, look at how it creates a, another square, as well as the triangles here. And then the direction of each of these blades of grass is very intentional, reinforcing directions of that square. And in addition to that, th these few grass pieces pointing and reinforcing that overall diagonal of the horse's head. So here we have the original photo cropped, then the sketch, and the final painting. Having this structure figured out in the sketch phase allowed me to play with color and texture in the final painting. I would not have recognized these important structural components if I had not done the sketch first. So there you have it in a nutshell. But that idea, the theme of the square, and the triangles as a secondary element are all intentionally placed in the painting. I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you'd like to see more of my work, you can visit my website and you can find me on Instagram. Thank you for watching.